American people send and receive two-thirds of the world's mail, an astonishing volume that now totals 61 billion pieces of mail, plus more than a billion parcels a year. And use of the mails is growing so rapidly that this volume will double within 25 years. Washington, D.C. post office, with fifth largest receipts in the nation, has long served as a carrier of news and knowledge, instrument of trade and industry, promoter of mutual acquaintance, of peace and goodwill among men and nations. In most post offices, mail still is sorted and distributed by costly, tedious, and old-fashioned hand methods that haven't changed much since Ben Franklin's day. Until fairly recently, little or no effort was made to speed the sorting and distribution of mail by machines and methods comparable to those used by American industry. Completely modernized, this Washington, D.C. post office is the most mechanized in the world. The latest answer to the problem of moving an increasing volume of mail efficiently and rapidly through a big city post office. It is the first of the many mechanized post offices planned for every major area in the nation. At the recent dedication ceremony, Postmaster General Arthur E. Summerfield said, The official opening of the world's most mechanized post office, the showplace, if you please, of the postal world, is a major breakthrough in our efforts to provide better and more efficient mail service for the American people. The assistant to the president, General Wilton Persons, joins Mr. Summerfield in unveiling the dedication plaque. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the White House, the president has arrived in the Indian Treaty Room for this historic occasion. Now Mr. Summerfield speaks to the President over a direct wire to the White House. Mr. President, this is the Postmaster General. We are just concluding our dedication ceremony. The members of Congress, the press, the radio and television, and other distinguished guests and postal employees gathered here are eagerly awaiting a word from you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. As this postal modernization program expands, it will result in the handling of mail more expeditiously and economically throughout the entire nation. It is a pleasure to congratulate General Summerfield and his department on this remarkable achievement. I now press the button that sets into motion the most modern postal facilities in the world, those of the Washington District of Columbia Post Office. And so President Eisenhower sets in motion the machines of the new postal service that will relieve post office personnel of many tedious and time-consuming tasks. In the words of the Postmaster General. The introduction of mechanized mail handling here in this modernized post office, opens a new era in the postal service, fully as important as the start of the railroad service for mail in 1831, or the inauguration of regular airmail service in 1918. Hundreds of visitors at the dedication now tour this post office of tomorrow. Let's go along. First through the modern lobby, comfortable and pleasing to the eye, it's serviceable too. Parcels are conveyed to the sorting area immediately after receipt. There are many new around-the-clock conveniences for the public, including change-making, stamp vending machines, and recently developed postcard vending machines. Now let's move behind the scenes to the workroom floor. Here is where mail comes into this post office, about five million pieces a day, letters in all sizes of envelopes, publications, hotel keys, parcels of all types and shapes.
Arriving collection mail must first be culled or separated by size and shape, as done by this experimental culling machine now undergoing an evaluation test. Small parcels are shunted off to a moving belt, leading to the automatic parcel sorting machine. Large envelopes go to another section for cancellation and processing. Letter mail goes off in a different direction for facing and cancellation. This machine faces and cancels the stamps at the rate of 30,000 letters an hour with a familiar wavy lines, at the same time postmarking the envelopes with Washington, D.C. and the date and time. As they are stacked by the machine, they are in positions suitable for reading by the manual sorters or for machine sorting. These letters in specially designed trays now move swiftly into the mail flow system. The mail flow system carries mail wherever needed about the workroom floor. It makes use of four miles of moving belts and 12,000 mail trays, which may be moved as needed by push button control to a thousand sorting cases. During the first or primary sorting, the letters are separated into 49 compartments. Mail is called for at short intervals, either to be dispatched or sent further along the mail flow system for finer or secondary sorting. Mail ready for sorting is sent in trays to the mechanical letter sorting machine. This machine is 60 feet long and some 10 feet high. It weighs 15 tons. Letters are fed past six keyboard operators who press keys to tell the built-in memory system where each letter is going. The machine then sorts the letters to 300 different destination slots, more rapidly and economically than can be done by hand sorting. Processing parcels is another big job for the post office. The new parcel sorter in the Washington, D.C. post office is the largest machine ever developed for this work. Parcels are moved past keying machine operators at six coding stations. These operators press buttons as they place a parcel on one of the moving trays. The buttons set signals into the electronic memory system, which cause that particular tray to tilt when it reaches the proper one of 32 destination chutes. This machine can handle 14,400 parcels an hour, sorting them to the 32 different destinations. It has nearly a mile of conveyor belts and is more than 15 feet high. It requires six built-in electronic memory systems and 12 photoelectric eyes. The mechanization of this Washington, D.C. post office will move the mails continuously, make better use of work floor space, eliminate drudgery and time-consuming tasks, and use the abilities of postal workers to better advantage where machines cannot replace human judgment. Mechanization with its capacity to move large volumes of mail expeditiously will enable the department to handle the increased mail volume of the future. The modernization work in the Washington, D.C. post office will produce benefits for the entire nation and it provides mechanization experience to use in the conversion of other post offices. You have just seen some of the newest postal machines of today. Now let's take a look at some of the postal machines of tomorrow, designed to keep pace with our surging economy. This is the Post Office Department's Research and Engineering Laboratory on the third floor of the Washington, D.C. Post Office, where these new machines are under development, test, and evaluation. Here's another type of culling machine being developed to take over the tedious manual job of separating by size and shape the mail collected from letter boxes. 
And here are other types of facing and stamp canceling machines designed to take over another of the monotonous but necessary operations of processing mail. And here's an electronic address reading machine, which reads the city and state line of typewritten or printed addresses and automatically sorts the letters to different destinations. This is a SAC mail sorter, an experimental or laboratory model, but so large it had to be assembled for testing in a separate building. It is designed to take sacks of mail weighing up to 80 pounds each and sort them into as many different separations as required. This is the prototype of a differently designed sacked mail sorter, already being tested under actual working conditions. Sacks are suspended upside down by one corner and then moved automatically for emptying at the proper separation tables for processing. As Mr. Summerfield says, an efficient modern postal service is essential to our national welfare. That is why this post office, with its promise of better mail service, is so important to all of you. That is why the developments that will take place here in this working postal laboratory have great significance to every American. This newly modernized Washington, D.C. post office is a tribute to the vision and the cooperation of the President, the Congress, the postal employees, and the engineering and research specialists in government and in industry who have made it possible. You or your group may visit this world's most mechanized post office. Arrange for a tour by calling or writing the postmaster, Washington 13, D.C. And if you would like a copy of the free brochure on this interesting new development, write to the postmaster or to the station to which you are tuned. Your post office is preparing today to handle tomorrow's mail better, faster, more economically. The developments you have just seen and others are major steps toward the post office department's goal of next day delivery of a letter anywhere in the United States. <laughs>